What's going on chimps? Welcome to another episode of Guitar Chimp Television. Today we're going to do some, what are these, just, no. Uh, first looks? First just, looks just number just 20. It. Yeah, I think it's 20. Sweet. It's a lot. It. Yeah. Cool, well, let's start. We've got a Les Paul case. What do we have here? It's like a custom shop of some kind or a historic. Yep. Cool. Looks like we've got a Gibson Custom Shop Historic 57 reissue Les Paul Custom. We've got our 50 style knobs, our pointers, the ABR1. Let's check it out. These have an all mahogany top on them because they're 57 and that's how they did it in 57. They didn't have maple. They didn't have maple tops until 68. Super, wow, super but cool. who doesn't like a Les Paul Custom in black? Yeah, and I mean, it's a 57, so it's got the chunky neck on it. Like I said, it's got the mahogany top. I'm gonna assume, I don't know what this has in it. It's probably 57 Classics or Burst Buckers. Uh, maybe, I honestly don't know off the top of my head. But 50 style knobs, super, super cool. ABR1, I talk about this in one of our other videos, but if this was a real 57, it'd be crazy rare, because it's only two pickups. Right. So the, the three pickup customs are, you'll, that's what you'll see most commonly among like 57, 58, and 59, and even 60 Les Paul customs. But when you're talking newer custom shop, you're going to pay more money for the three pickup. But at the real deal, you're going to pay less money. Yeah. It's a sweet guitar. Yeah, I wonder I like if we the... have, um, I'm not sure what we have in here. Uh, looks like no COA. Looks like uh, a receipt. Looks like they originally bought it from the Music Zoo. We didn't buy it from there, but somebody did. Yeah, it's some cool truss rod tool. Polish rag. Cool. It's got the purple lined inside case. Really, really cool. Yeah, it's a sweet guitar. Let's see what else we have. Black Beauties. Check this out. What do we have in here? Is it an acoustic? <laughs> acoustic or hollow body? Yeah. Semi hollow. Mm. Oh, it's got a yellow line case. Yeah. So, see those on. 335s. Yeah, what we've got here is a 2021 Gibson Trini Lopez 64 reissue. It's a uh, Murphy aged. It's got like some light aging on it. Super, super cool guitar. I mean, the Trini Lopez by itself is cool enough, but the fact that this has got 64 appointments and then it's got the Murphy, the Murphy Lab work done on it. Yeah, the aging they do is so Let's check so, this out. We'll see if we can get some of the checking to show up in the video. Oh yeah. Yeah, so we've got Oh, there you can see it. Can really you see the aging? Well. Yep. I love it. Super, super cool. And then we've got our nylon saddles on the ABR1. That's very 60s. And our split diamond inlays. It's got a rosewood fingerboard. I think these have custom bucker pickups, is what they came with. And then of course our Firebird headstock. Firebird headstock, yep. Yep. Yeah, this thing is. Can you see super the checking cool. on that? Yeah, you can see yep. a bit of it on here. But. And then we've got a six digit serial number as well. See the checking on the back of the neck. Oh, wow. It popped out there really mm -hmm. well. Yeah, that is so cool. I really like these in black. I mean, they make them in cherry too. And then they do the Dave Grohl ones, the, the gold and the, the pellum blue which I know is a DG-335, but it's a Trini Lopez. Yeah, that's... That's what he originally plays, is is the Trini Lopez's. I know he plays his signature stuff, but he also plays Trini Lopez models. And then we've got our yellow-lined uh, case, which is that 60s era case. Got some case candy. Uh, Pre-packed checklist. Oh, this is cool. Yeah, the, the certificate has the like checking on yeah, it. Yeah, the certificate is checked. <laughs> <laughs> what does it yeah. smell like, Jerry? Yeah. 
<laughs> Murphy Lab Ultra Light Aging. Right on. Yeah. Out in Nashville, Tennessee. So that's the other thing too, is this is a Nashville uh, Trini Lopez. I know Gibson stopped pr producing ESs in the Memphis factory. I think they even shut it down maybe. And so now all the ESs are made out of the Nashville. So for all you guys that are messaging me, what's the difference between Memphis and Nashville? What's and honestly, Memphis stuff is great. I, I think it's really good quality, but now you guys have it in Nashville. Yeah, that's cool. This thing is. You've got this little cute guy really that cool. comes with it too. And then just some of this stuff. Yeah. Sweet. I dig, this is definitely making me happy. Yeah. <laughs> That's sweet. That's one we don't see very often for sure. Yeah. Not not Murphy age. Yeah. Seems like he's getting uh, getting pretty involved with Gibson and doing a ton I, you know, of Murphy aged. I don't know if it's, I feel like on this series, it's not actually Tom Murphy himself doing the aging. Right, so, so it's just like the style yeah. that he would do. Yep. Uh, cool. From what I've read, he found some new way to do the aging that was cool, and then the Gibson guys uh, attached his name onto it. Of course, he came up came up with yeah. the, the new way or whatever, but I don't think it's actually him aging them. Although we have we have stuff that he's done the aging on. Yeah. So. And it's all been really good. Yeah. It look, it looks pretty true to the the real checking. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it looks like we got another Les Paul. Looks like this case is gigged a little bit. Yeah. Pink shroud, pink. So what we have here is a, I know what this is, so I'm cheating. It's a 1977 Gibson Les Paul standard in wine red. The case that this is coming with, it's not the original case. This is a 90s era Gibson Les Paul case with the brown and the and the uh, the pink interior or purple or whatever. I, I'm pretty colorblind right now, so I can't tell, but I think it's pink. Yeah, it's pink. Yeah, it's got some pretty awesome rosewood. Yeah, let's check out. Uh... So we're uh, obviously wine red finish. Really, really cool. It's got a rosewood fingerboard. Les Paul Standard. The tuners on this guitar are not original. They're Grover tuners. This would have normally come with uh, like a Gibson Deluxe style, kind of a Cluson looking tuner. But the Grovers are a lot better tuners in my opinion. Good enough for Jimmy Page, probably good enough for you. So. <laughs> yeah, check out that volute. Yeah, massive volute on there. Turn it to the side a little bit. Yeah, to can see you see it. that? Oh, wow. Yep, it's got a pretty massive volute. Gibson did that in the late 70s. Just, uh, I would imagine it was in response to uh, breaking headstocks. So I know in the late 60s, they, they didn't have a volute on this stuff. So they probably started beefing them up, but really cool. One of the things I like about these late 70s Les Pauls, it's got a three piece maple neck. So you, you do get some, um, you get a little bit of flame on that neck. And then you can see the three pieces. Super, super cool. I know this one's got like a, it's got a Gibson T-top in the bridge. And then I don't believe the neck pickup is original, but it does have a T-top in it. This thing's really, really yeah, cool. Yeah, so cool. And wine red. Wine red's one of those colors where I feel like people are either like, they think the color's okay, but then there's people that are in love with wine red. I like, I like the red Les Pauls. Yeah, thing. yep. Wine red's a good color. Wine red is a good color. I mean, Oxblood is my favorite, but. Yeah, wine I can see how cool. wine, you're, you're probably going to say that wine red is kind of like a, it's like a cheaper version of oxblood. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, we got a couple more. Sweet. old case yeah this one's a big guy could be a big girl you know yeah that's true <laughs> <laughs> oh there we go okay 
Okay. So this guitar is a 2017 Gibson Custom Shop Explorer in mahogany TV black is the color. Look at the grain on that. You can just see the mahogany. I think it's so good looking. Yeah, that TV sick. black, that mahogany TV black, it looks great, man. You've got your 50 style knobs with the pointers. You've got an ABR, ABR1 bridge, custom bucker pickups, beautiful rosewood fingerboard, no binding. I personally prefer the no binding. It's nice and smooth. And then you've got your Gibson Deluxe Cluson style tuners, very 58. Thanks. And then of really course, cool. of course, of course, of course, we've got a massive chunky neck. This neck just feels nice and girthy. Yeah. If you like early 60s thin necks, you will hate this guitar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But if you like chunky, chunky necks, I mean like 58 Les Paul, it's a 58 reissue. So 58 is just a really good, it's got a lot of chunk, man. Yeah. Uh, look at the back. Yeah, it's so cool. You don't see explorers with like see-through uh -huh. finishes like this. Yeah, and it's all it's all mahogany, so you're really seeing the grain. Oh yeah. It's really good looking. And it, uh, it reminds me of the Silver Fox color a little bit. So it's got an ink serial number. I don't, I don't know if you got get on that. We've got an ink stamp serial number. They didn't make very many of these. Apparently um, they only made 50 of these in 2017. I don't know why yeah. they only made 50, but yeah, that's they're cool really for whoever cool. owns one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's see what else. Do we have any goodies? We got a few. We got a, a certificate of authenticity. And then we've got some of the, you know, the pre-packed checklist, this little historic guy with that cute stuff on there. And some of this, you know, you guys know the all this stuff. The lock instructions, tags, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, the tags, the lock instructions in a language that I can't understand. <laughs> uh, English is probably on there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, this well, one's... What a cool guitar. Yeah, I don't know Is it if it's the... Which one's my favorite, if it's the Trini or... It's either yeah, the Trini this or this really one is, cool. is my favorite today so far. I like the chunky necks, so an explorer with a chunky neck definitely yeah. intrigues me a little bit. I like that. Let's see what else we got. What a cool guitar. What do we got? The one underneath is yeah. the, yep. the yeah. last one. Okay. Right on. Ooh. We've got a Gibson Thunderbird four string bass guitar in black. It's good looking in black. I, I really like these basses a lot. Yeah, these things are so cool. Yeah, this is very, I mean, it could be very anything. It's not just very Nikki Six, but it's very, it's just rocking, man. <laughs> it's super mean looking. Yeah, all of their basses sound really good. Yeah, you've got a, a, a pretty thin neck on this. You have a very narrow uh, nut width on this. And so it's thin and narrow. It's got that kind of feel to it. I don't, I don't really know how to describe it. It's not really jazz bassy. It's just, it's got a narrow nut width to it. So it's, it's, it's nice and narrow up there. And then you've got your Gibson Thunderbird pickups. These are really hot pickups. Really, really cool. I mean, this thing's black. It's just really... Yeah, it's super sleek. It's super sleek, yeah. Super awesome, man. These things are getting harder and harder to come by these days. Nice. Yeah, super, super cool on this one. I, I like these a lot as a bass player myself. So, do you have anything inside the pocket? We've got a couple of things inside the pocket. We've got this little, uh, it's kind of a pre-packed checklist little guy. Truss rod wrench. Nice. And an owner's manual. 
Canada. Un idioma. <laughs> oh man, what yep. a cool, what a cool base. Super, super cool. We're right on. That's all I've got for you guys today. If you like what you saw, go ahead and do me a favor, hit the like and subscribe button. Also, if you really could, if you really want to support the channel, click on that reverb link. If you buy anything, it gives us like a 1% credit or, or whatever. It just helps support the channel. Anything you guys can do, I really, really appreciate it. That's all we got. Sweet. Oh yeah, what's going on, chips? If you like what you saw, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. If you don't like what you saw, go ahead and hit the dislike button and leave me a comment. Ooh.